Hey guys, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot to film an intro to this video, so I'm just giving you guys a quick little intro right here with my voice. Um, this is a flower beauty haul slash get ready with me. I am hauling some new flower makeup I just recently purchased on their website, and I am putting it on for you guys, you know, kind of like a try on haul. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started applying some primer. I picked up three of the new flower beauty primers. I got the flower Okay, all of this stuff is flour, so I'm not going to say that every time. But I got the In Your Prime Hydrating Primer. Then I got the In Your Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. And I also got the Illuminating Primer. I think the packaging is really cute on these bottles. I like that they have different colors. These kind of look like color correcting colors, but they aren't color correcting primers. So that can be a little confusing. For today's video, I'm actually going to be mixing two of them. I got the pore minimizing one just to try out, but I'm a hydrating slash illuminating kind of gal. I'm going to squeeze. Oh, that, that's too much. A little too much since I'm doing two of them, but that's okay. I'm going to try to do like equal parts. <laughs> I actually swatched both of them on the back of my hand before I started filming this. And the hydrating one just looks like a moisturizer. When you saw it, it's like a white consistency. And the illuminating one kind of has like a champagne reflect, but it doesn't have shimmers in it or anything chunky. It, it's actually a very like smooth consistency, you know, it's a nice sheen. Uh, my face actually feels a little hydrated, but not too much. And I feel like I put a lot on and I don't feel like my face is super hydrated. So maybe I could have used a little bit more of the hydrating one, but it does look very illuminated. So that's nice. I feel like this one is very nice. The illuminating one, you get a nice sheen. You know, it does what it's supposed to do, but I don't think the hydrating one is very hydrating at all. Okay, so really quickly, I'm gonna go in with my foundation and concealer. Since Flower doesn't have any new products in that category, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I'm in the shade 120, and then I'm gonna use my Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer in light. And I'm gonna be using my Beauty Blender. I actually was gonna use my Flower Sponge, but it is so dirty, which is strange, because every single time I use a sponge, I wash it immediately after. But I used that sponge last night, and I guess I forgot to wash it, so. I'm gonna use a beauty blender. All right, so Flower Beauty did come out with where's it? a powder. Well, actually two powders. I have two powders to share with you guys. This is the Miracle Matte Universal Finishing Powder. This is a translucent powder. I mean, it, it says it's translucent. Well, it just says Miracle Matte Universal Finishing Powder minimizes appearance of imperfections and it gives you a mattifying effect. So this is to mattify and then this powder is the complete opposite. It is the Miracle Glow Satin Finish Powder. It says it also minimizes the appearance of imperfections, but this one gives you an ambient glow. It sets your makeup with a veil of subtle radiance. Our satin formula absorbs oil and smooths the skin with a soft focus effect. So I'm really excited about this powder. What I think I'm gonna do is apply this to my T-zone. Even though I have a drier T-zone, I kind of like the center of my face to look a little bit more matte. It's just a little harder for me because it is so dry. It's, it's a bit of a struggle. So I'm gonna apply this part to my T-zone and then I'm gonna apply this to the rest of my face. Even though this foundation doesn't need to be set, we're just gonna do it for the sake of this video. I'm gonna take my Zoeva 114 brush and I'm just gonna dip it right into this powder set underneath my eyes. One thing I am noticing is that it's kind of lightening underneath my eyes. It's not like a drastic difference, but I definitely see this side a little brighter, which if that's what you're looking for, awesome. But if you are looking for something that is like invisible on the skin, you can't really see a color, I don't know if you would like this. But with that being said, oh, by the way, there is a mirror in this product. There's a like little spongy thing and then a mirror. But anyway, the color is a little bit white, but I feel like it did a really nice job of blurring my pores. I don't know, I'm like on the fence right now. I don't know how I feel just yet. I have to play around with it a little bit more. Now I'm gonna try out this bad boy. I'm very excited for this powder. The packaging is a little bit crazy. 
Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so this is like their universal color, but it does have a bone color to it. It's not completely white. And it is very chimity. Very chimity. There's a definite glow in this. So I'm gonna take my Real Techniques B01 brush. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, hold on. This is very pretty, but it's it does have a, a definite sheen to it. So I feel like I applied a little bit too much in that area. Okay, I'm sorry. If this mirror is in your way, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to look at my face. What do you guys think? Can you see a difference when I move my face around? I see a little glow there. At first when I stamped it here on the cheek and I saw so much shimmer, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna hate this. But if you apply a very light layer to your whole face, you set your foundation, but you do get a little bit of a glow. It's not something that's very, very noticeable. I think in order to really tell, you're gonna have to apply a lot. I like it. I actually like that. I think that's really nice. Okay, so really quickly, I'm gonna apply some bronzer. I'm gonna speed through this part. I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. By the way, I'm using the ColourPop Powder Brush, in case anyone was wondering. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Flower Beauty Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette in medium to deep, and I'm gonna take the bronzer. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this because it's very pigmented, and I'm just gonna lightly add some of this bronzer towards the back of my cheeks. Okay, so since she doesn't have any like brand brand new blushes either, I'm gonna take the blush in this palette with my Morphe M462. These powders are so dusty, like you get a lot of kick up, but they're so, so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that, but I am gonna take a pinch of this blush as well. This is the Flower Pots Powder Blush in Peach Primrose. And I'm just gonna take the same brush and apply a little bit of this. Just to add a little bit more of a peachiness. There, I love this blush. It's so pretty, I love it, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna apply my highlight after I do my eye makeup. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen because I completely forgot to put on highlight. Because that's when I'm gonna use the new setting spray, but we are quickly going to jump into a quick little eye makeup thing. She just released some new eyeliners and I picked up four colors. These are the Glossy Gel Eyeliners. It's supposed to give you intense color. It's a gel formula and it's also supposed to be long wearing with a beautiful lacquer finish. So I got black vinyl, bronzed out, silver fox, which is really weird. I don't think I have a gray eyeliner in my collection, so I wanted to try that out. And then I also got galaxy, which I think is a black with a little bit of sparkle to it. Let me swatch these for you. Okay, so all of these eyeliners, except for black vinyl, have a bit of a sheen to them, a little bit of glitter. I don't know how often I'm gonna use Galaxy, just because I don't really use shades like that in the waterline. I really just wanted to try it out, but if I'm gonna wear a dark color like that, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be black. But the rest of these colors, I definitely see myself using them. Maybe not the silver one, but I think for a cool tutorial, that might be really interesting. They seem very creamy and like they're gonna be really easy to apply. I was hoping that this would be a matte brown, but we're just gonna go with it. I mean, it's called bronzed out. What was I thinking? So, <laughs> come on, Kathleen. Okay, I don't know what it is about this eyeliner, but it's like extra tickly. I don't feel it burning my eyes or anything. It's not irritating, but it was like really tickly while I was applying it. Like my eyes were just so tickly. I don't know how else to describe it, but this glides on so easily. And I actually really like the color. It's a little bit more wearable than I thought it was gonna be. I thought you were really gonna see the shimmer peek through, but it pretty much looks like a matte brown with a little bit of something. So I really like this color. This eye is like bigger than this eye. And I feel like as I get older, I notice it more. But anyway. <laughs> All right, so I didn't pick up any eyeshadows from Flower Beauty because she doesn't have any new palettes or anything. I do enjoy these eyeshadows that she recently released. I like these way more than these. 
She has these quads right here, which by the way, if you didn't know, Drew Barrymore owns Flower, like she created that. If you're a little bit confused on why I keep saying she, but she has these quads. They are a little bit dusty, so I feel like they fade on the eyes a little quicker than other eyeshadows I have, but I do like them. They're not terrible, and with a good eye primer, I mean, you can make it work. But I do 100% prefer these, so I'm gonna just do a quick, simple, like, Barely their eye. I mainly want to focus on the products I hauled. So really quickly, I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to use a little bit of this eyeshadow palette. First, I'm going to do my brow bone highlight with an eyeshadow that I can't tell you guys yet. I'm so sorry. I keep hinting at this. I know I'm sorry, but it is coming soon. I'm just going to quickly highlight my brow bone with this, even though I shouldn't be highlighting my brow bone because I have so much hair there. Highlighting my hair is not a good look. I have to do my eyebrows, but you know. I feel like I, I don't feel completed without a brow bone highlight. And yeah, I'll do my eyes and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna take that shade I used on my brow bone, just a light wash of this on a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna focus that right on the inner parts of my eye. And then to finish it all off, I'm gonna take this color I'm gonna take this Tarte Gifted Mascara and this is what I'm gonna use on my eyes because it kind of has a brown tint to it. It's kind of like a dark, dark brown mascara and I think it would look, you know, kind of good with this. And before I go in with my lip color, I actually purchased two setting sprays from Flower. These are brand new. They are the Seal the Deal setting sprays. I got the long lasting matte finish one and then the hydrating dewy finish. So obviously I just bought the matte one to try out for you guys. I'm probably gonna use this on my own, maybe update you guys in a future video. I wanna use this with like my dewier foundations, but I am already way too matte for me to use this. So I am gonna go in with the hydrating one. The mist is pretty fine, so. Like super fine actually. I really like this mist. You can get super close. I feel like with this one you really have to apply a lot. I don't feel like it's making my face too dewy, right? Like I can even do more. I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then I will come back and let you know my thoughts. But before I do that, I'm gonna apply some lip liner. I got three of the new lip liners. These are called the Petal Pout Lip Liners. I got Nude, Toffee, and Beige. These are supposed to be rich in pigment and it's supposed to have a precise definition. I think I'm gonna apply Toffee. I'm gonna swatch them for you guys first though. Whoa, okay, this is really strange. I think they might have messed up. This can't be, this can't be. This can't be the situation. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see this. So this one in the light packaging is called Nude and this one in the darker packaging is called Beige. But when you swatch them, Beige is actually really, really light and Nude is a bit deeper. So from left to right you have Beige, which totally doesn't look like a beige. It looks extremely Nude. Then you have Nude, which is like a really pretty pinky Nude. And then you have toffee, which looks exactly like how I would expect toffee to look. So I don't know if my nude and beige are mixed up. That's a little strange, but to be safe, I'm gonna go in with toffee. They feel really creamy and I like that these are retractable so you don't have to spend time sharpening them. I 
Oh my gosh, I love this color so much. These are very creamy, like I said, so it's really easy to fill in your entire lips with this. You can totally use this as a lip liner, but also as a lipstick. The only thing is, obviously, if you use this as a lipstick as well, you will go through it a lot quicker than if you were just using it as a lip liner, but I use lip liners as lipsticks out of 10. And they don't transfer. I feel like these are gonna be really long wearing, yet yeah, really comfortable. Ooh, I'm excited for this, I'm excited for this. All right, so before I move on to the rest of the lip products, I just want to touch base on the setting spray. I'm a little bit shocked. I feel like it set my face and then it kind of went back to normal. I don't know, can you guys tell? Do you see like a definite dewiness in my skin now? I feel like it looks just as matte as it did before, so I'm not sure. Oh, and also my face feels pretty tight, which can be a really good thing because it feels like it kind of locked my makeup into place, which I don't really expect from a hydrating setting spray. I figured this would do something like that. I could just imagine how matte this is actually. So I don't know, I love the mist on this. If this is really long wearing, this could be a really great product. But if you're looking for that dewiness, you're not gonna find it with that one. Okay, so the last portion of this video is focused on lip products. She released a butt ton of new lip products. She came out with Miracle Matte Lips, which yes, yes, liquid lipsticks. I purchased all of them. I literally, I don't know why, but I did. I got so nuts that I, I purchased every color. She also released some new lipsticks. I got, I got five of these. These are the Petal Pout lip colors. They come in different finishes. I got most of them in a matte finish, but I did get two creamy finishes. And I got most of the nudes here, so I'll show you those. And then she also released Mix and Matte lip duos. You get a lipstick on this side and then a gloss on this side so you can use them together or you can use them on their own, which these are almost identical to the Tarte ones. Let me, let me, grab, let me grab a Tarte one so you can see. So this is the Tarte Lip Sculptor. It's a lipstick and lip gloss. This lip gloss used to be a nudie pink and it has changed color. It used to be like the color of the inside. You see like this wand? I have a feeling I have to throw this away. <laughs> it comes with a lipstick and then it comes with a lip gloss. These look just like these. Let me open these. I'm so unprepared. These are the flower ones. They're gorgeous. By the way, this packaging is stunning. You open it, you get your lipstick on this side and then you get your gloss on this side. I got seven colors. I'm not sure how many colors are in the line, but I bought seven of them. And all of these glosses look like they're very shimmery. Let me swatch these. Ooh, wait a minute. This one does not feel like a gloss at all. This almost feels like a liquid lipstick. This one in Bronze Envy. Let me try one of the nude ones. This one is called Honey Nude. I just wanna test out the gloss part because I'm kind of picky about my gloss formula. I like them to feel glossy, you know? Wow, this doesn't really feel glossy either. I don't know if I'm gonna love the gloss part. I'm gonna go into some arm swatches of these mix and matte lip duos I picked up. All right, so before I go into the swatches of the Miracle Matte Lip, I do wanna test one out on my lips. By the way, that was everything I got I pretty much showed you everything I bought already. Most of this is lip products, but anyway, I'm gonna go in with the shade Rosewood. These smell really good. Okay, so it's a little hard to tell because I am applying this on top of a lip liner, but their mixture of like all liquid lipsticks I've felt. They're a little bit creamy, yet a little bit moussey as well. Just a hair liquidy, but mostly creamy. I swatched it on my hand not too long ago and it is almost completely dried down. Okay, so it does transfer a bit, but I don't know if that's because of the lip liner I put underneath. I don't know, I think I'm really, really, really gonna like these. I'm gonna go ahead and show you arm swatches of all the colors right now. Okay, and then as for lipsticks, like I said, I only got 
six shades. I got two creams and four mattes. I wore one of the matte ones yesterday. Which one did I wear? I wore this one in Naked Blush, and it was really, really nice. The formula was awesome. It lasted a really long time. It doesn't really smell like anything, so I really liked it. I'm a little stuffy now, actually, but anyway. The creamy ones, I haven't tried out yet, but I'm just gonna apply Spiced Petal right on top just to feel it out which you're probably not gonna see the creaminess really shine through because I have a matte lip underneath. Oh, that was stupid. And it does feel nice and creamy though. It's not too creamy, it's kind of what you would picture a regular lipstick feeling like. One that isn't labeled a matte, you know, just like a standard cream lipstick. This one is Spiced Petal. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop in some swatches of these lipsticks. All right, so those were the lipsticks I picked up, and then that completes this haul. That was everything I got on the flower website. I feel like this video is so long. Let me know if you liked this video, if you kind of liked this style. Let me know down below if you have picked up any of the new flower makeup. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What are the standout products for you? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I do enjoy these that she I do enjoy I do and I do enjoy these. I got two creams and four metallics and four mattes. Oh wait. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How do I open this?